Hey, this is Chris, and I want to walk you through how to build out an appointment reminder for Infusionsoft. Uh, and this actually integrates with Call Loop as well. So if you want to send a text message um, right when the appointment's set, and you can also send a text message 24 hours before, and uh, you can um, basically drive more people to those appointments. So here's what you do. So this is actually an internal web form. So if I double click on this, and this can be an out, you know, it could be a web form that you put on a, your website or whatever, but this is for an internal form. So for example, one of our reps, they set an appointment, they just go into the contact record and then they can apply uh, this. So for example, internal form, they click on uh, demo appointment reminder and fill this out and that's what it looks like, right? So they can put the first name, last name and put the appointment date, you know, they can put this information in there and, and that's what it looks like. So here is the form. All right, and so here the mobile phone is phone one. That's the phone one field. Appointment date, you'll have to create these custom fields. So this is a custom field called appointment date. And here's a custom field called appointment date and time. Now the campaign can only run on a date field. It can't run on a date time field in Infusionsoft. And what I mean by that is these are the custom fields I created for appointments. So, so here's one called appointment date, and this is a date field. And here's the appointment date and time, and it is a date time field. Now again, the campaign can only run on a date field. So that's why I have it right here. And then the date time is right there. Now I have these two options here, which is send confirmation now, which is essentially just a checkbox, right? And this one here is just another uh, checkbox as well. And you do that just by going to field snippets and dropping down a checkbox. All right. So we'll go back to the campaign and I'm going to double click on this and show you what this looks like. Okay. So basically everybody gets this first reminder sequence, which is basically the email uh, sequence that's going to drive them to the appointment. The second one is if you select uh, send now, well, we want to send a text message. So we want to put the form submissions option, send confirmation now is selected, then they're going to get put into this sequence here. Now the next one is, is again, if you want to send them the confirmation on the, the um, internal form, you just make sure that's checked and this option is if this option is selected, put it in here, right? So everybody gets this sequence and then this is optional. If this is checked, they'll get put into this sequence. And if this is checked, they'll get put into that sequence. So if you want, just screenshot and take a look at that. So let's go into the first one here. So here we have our field timer, which is set for the date field, which is the appointment date. So this goes out one day before all right, the appointment date at 10 a.m., right? In fact, maybe you wanna send out um, an email to go out immediately, right? So if we wanted to do this, we could just put in an email here that goes out immediately after it's been scheduled. And so let's say, okay, they get this email immediately, right? And then one day before, they're gonna send this, and then the day of the appointment at eight in the morning, you're going to send this. Now, again, you can't run a um, uh, an email or anything on time. It's only based on the date. So for example, you can't say one hour before the time, send this. It can only be one day or the day before or the day after or whatever, right? So if you want, you can just simply do that. And let's go back to the campaign. Okay, so here the send now is, and this is basically an SMS, right? So send now, and to do this, what you'll do within call loop is you will create a trigger and you can then pass in some of this information here, right? So I'm passing over the phone number, which is the phone one, right, the first name which we're collecting from the form. And these are really custom fields that we're putting into the text message.
So from call loop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a group and I can just call this one, let's call it appointments. Okay, I'll select this and actually I'm not gonna select an integration right here. I'll just create this group. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a trigger. So if I go under messages, triggers, we're gonna create that trigger, okay? And this one is going to send now, right, SMS. And so it's gonna say Chris, or whatever the first name is. And we wanna pass over this information, right? So appointment, date and time. So your appointment is on APPT, okay? So if we look here, it's APPT. Now if I change this to, you know, time, well, I gotta match this up here, so I would put time, right? But we're just gonna keep it APPT. So any, any custom fields that you're sending from call loop, this right here on the left needs to match whatever is in the SMS. So APPT, and it also needs to be in brackets, okay? So then we'll do owner field. Uh, so I could say, hey, Chris, it's whatever the owner field is, which will be owner, it's owner. So if it's a sales rep, I could say, hey, uh, Chris, it's Mike, if it's assigned to the owner, Mike. Or if it's assigned to Bill, it would say, Bill, right? Your appointment is on um, the appointment date. And if you wanted to pass over the owner phone, um, you know, I could say, please call me at owner phone to change your date, right? Right, whatever you wanna write in here. Right, and again, that's if you want to use the owner field, but if you don't, then you would just do this. Please call us at 888, right, whatever it is here. So uh, that's how you do it. So in fact, I would just delete these and that's the custom field we're using. We're passing over the first name and that's it. So we can do that. And now if we go to send 24 hours before, now if we go to send 24 hours before, well, this is pretty simple, right? So wait one day before and send this SMS. Same thing, so if I wanted here, I'll delete this. In fact, if I go to call loop here, I'm gonna create this, this SMS and I'm gonna create this one here, which is one day before, okay? And I would do the same thing. All right, first name, appointment is tomorrow, APPT. See you soon, right? And whatever we wanna do here, we can create that trigger and we're good to go. Now, obviously we need to get this code here. And so what I would do is I would paste in that new code, okay? All right, and this is for the one day before and there it is. All right, and so this send now one, I didn't grab the code here. So let me just go ahead and grab that. I'll paste it here and that's it. So there you go, that's the campaign and good luck. It's pretty simple to set up, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know.